Sorry, basic game features player choice consequences only game and decision will be part of the present. Should choose wisely. All right. Well, like I said before, this whole thing went down. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for checking it out. I am streaming this on Twitch, so if I'm talking somebody in my chat, don't think I'm going crazy. But yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that like, like the video down below. Go ahead and subscribe and comment, do all that good stuff. But here we go. We're getting into this right now. Day. Before I know a little bit about this game, because I saw Vern notices a uh, walkthrough playthrough of episode four a couple weeks back, some of it. But I kind of kind of got an idea about it. So, okay, here What's we go. Happening? I'm gonna keep quiet. I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Alright, so I'm guessing this is kind of a tutorial thing. This is kind of a run button. What the hell? Holy shit! Oh my god, that is awesome. Let's say Blackwell Academy, 1910. Holy shit! Holy shit's right, girl. Oh, you're dead. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. You should, girl. But I like it old school. And capture you in a moment. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. One of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October for October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate. Soon. Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Rad Brad. Oh, my God. I'm not Englishing so well today, guys. By Ray Bradbury. There we go. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. We got pages here or something? Oh, what's all this? Prologue. Eight Victoria. Episode one. This one. Okay, episode one. Chrysalis, it's called. Cool. SMS. How do we go? I want to go. Very special 18th birthday, you're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Ooh, daddy gave his money. Be around always, you okay? Get tea later today. Absolutely, I'll be free after four. Talk to you. Maxine. Maxine, we can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. 
Hugs and kisses. Born. Whoa. Me for coffee after school. I need an excuse to not study, please. Make sure you check out Neck Romantic on my flash drive. Hey Max, let's bust shit up. Might have studied for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> Don't ignore this message. And you think he's a little obsessed there, brah. Too obvious. Can I read Anybody this again? Thank you. This? What would they think? Oh my god, these pages. Holy shit. Alright, this might take a minute. I got accepted in Blackwell Academy. Words could dance. This would be a rave, even if, even though I've never been to one. Who cares? Because I got into Blackwell Academy, unique, famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I'd be so excited, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. Sorry, I'm kind of reading through as fast, but there's a lot to read, so. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. When I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird. <laughs> but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work on it, a new laptop. I need a new laptop too. No, I just need a whole new desktop actually. So I can stream the right way and not through the Twitch app. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. August 18th. This takes place in 2013, okay. This is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school close to home. I suppose I am too. This is I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest. Back in the town, I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. The city was made for when we would play pirates in our pirates. We would play pirates in our room and in the woods. It seemed like Seattle was the, that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't a fable. Ah, uh, au uh, contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world to study photography under Mark Jefferson. Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, it'll be cool to have our students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a grove. A, gr a grove. A grove. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Page three. Jesus Christ. Shit is crazy with the K. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited and I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. Aw, that's so sad. It made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning up. Burning, blah, 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 blah. God, I'm, I am not good at words. I feel like burning all my clothes than just raiding a thrift store to build up a new max wardrobe over my junior year. <clears throat> Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. This girl's kind of a nerd. Kind of like me. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat, and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. There will be so many super cool cha- Super cool? This, this is 2013, not the 90s. Man. Being super cool. Chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Ah, oh, boy. First entry from my new dorm room. The night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew, I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine. I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of, I plan a whole wall of photos there, y'all. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd, 2013. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. 
And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, and titled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy-ass clothes. As if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today in Mr. Jefferson Photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already, so much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. Comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner. Or a good friend. Oh, my phone's going off. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought... At least I get to, God, words, man. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill, dude. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Om OMJ, I want to marry him. Just joking, lol, haha. <laughs> this one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th, homework is kicking my ass. That's how every chapter starts, every page. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob millions still front like their honored guest of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone. Way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest on Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescott's give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like literally owns a school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite Vortex Club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the beaches. <laughs> Piatches here, like Victoria, who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more. Number 23rd. Finally, I had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particles, physics, so even boneheads like me can understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? October. Okay, this one we started to read. I tore her my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching leaf change. Yeah, we read that, read that, read that, read that, read that, read that. Read that. Well, I have pictures of one. Okay. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You, you so punny, Max. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> that was t horrible. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy, as my parents love telling me, on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Okay. Back to the game now. That was a lot to read. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? 
I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Selfie. I have to admit. Polaroid selfie. Oh shit. Her work. I... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. You of do course, have a gift. as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. Oh boy. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Oh shit. Is there we already anybody fucked up. here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, uh, I don't like her already. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. This guy's kind of a dick. But he is a teacher, though. Oh, look at that ass over there. Look at that. What do we got over here? We got a tablet? Victoria, even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. Of course, Victoria has to have the best... Oh, we're using that shit. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Product, the GRLT 64S, with all with all the speed and power expected from a new greenlit. The GRLT 64S is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and mailability. Can be yours today for a low low price of five thousand two hundred ninety nine dollars. Buy now. Anything else? Printer. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I, obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That's kind of cool. What we got here? Oh, it's Kate. I think we like Kate, don't we? Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go. Cup of tea? Who says that? No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Kate looks upset. I feel bad for Kate. Those etched marks. Get a photo of that. HL Amber forever. Forever. Find optional for Oh shit, we got a little bonus thingy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, anyway. Damn Twitter. That's something. Photo equipment. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Yeah, Mark Jefferson's Noir Beauty. Film versus digital. Who will win? Find out next time.
on. Life is strange. Books. So cool that we can check these out anytime. That is so totally cool. Cartier Bresson. That's rare. And man, okay. he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't. Here's the poster for the contest. Probably should listen to Mr. her say Jefferson everything. really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You need to take that chance, girl. Got here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Or took a picture of that and it needs to fix their damn camera, yo. You can never escape the lighthouse here. There's a lighthouse that we were daydreaming about. Camera. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still... This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Well, time to, time to break that. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Oh, snap. I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. What do you said? Well, can we talk to this bitch? Fuck her up. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Talking mad smack, yo. Yeah, I think we looked at everything here. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred. Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you. Oh shit! I saw some. I saw a little booby there. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She'd be posing instead of taking a time out in the bathroom. She's so fucking shy. She took selfies with a giant shark. Don't nod entertainment. Probably presents to you. Life is strange. Walking, episode one. I don't chrysalis. I've never heard of that word actually. We got over here. We got Alyssa. Evan doesn't say much to me. Evan, who kind of looks like one of my friends, very cool. actually. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. American girls, I'd like to. It's our locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Watching the world from the bright side. I'm digging the song right now, actually. I'm not going to lie. Got down here, Stella. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Neither should you. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Oh damn, she fine as hell. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Ah, poor dude. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poster. I wish October would last forever. You love me some October. It looks like she's been gone for months. Well, that's because she has, because it says April 22nd on there.
Ah, let's continue on. There's a lot of shit to read on here. Don't need a PC. I missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Walking around my own place, wondering why she cries sometimes, talking about her own place. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. I mean, change has altered the Oregon coastline. Being fish and fauna. This helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. That's when I, fly. I wonder what actually happened to her. The Rachel chick. She looks pretty cute, too, not gonna lie. They should just call it a sugar machine. Get us some that sugar. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. How would that be awesome? Gun-free zone, uh-huh. Good uh -huh. thing I left my AK at home. And good thing I left my AK at home. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Let's see up to Miss Grant. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Oh, that's science teacher. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these posters. So sad. Terrible. Map of the school. Well, not yet. We still got some. We still got some exploring to do. House tour. Post. Baby. Cute. Put yourself. There's Juliet. Text club. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Hayden, he looks like Cole Stanley. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. We got here. Oh, excuse you, motherfucker. Bathroom, okay, yeah, we need to splash some water in her face. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now, who would bother to write that crap? Rachel. Bitch. Oh, shit. That's the girl that's missing, isn't it? That's kind of fucking rude. When somebody punked the alarm, got out of science class for that quiz. Aww. I hate Victoria Chase. Hell yeah! This poster must drive people to have sex. Hate twerks for God. <laughs> what the hell? Tampon dispenser. I'm good to flow. Thanks. What did she say? I'm good to flow. Thanks. Vortex Club are jerks. Flash water. Last time I got a flu shot. Thank you. Oh, shit. She's... The universe haunting me. Go it all starts. Am I crazy? Their bathroom's a little bit. That's a rod bathroom. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. You got a gift, all right. Fuck it. Butterfly. When closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Not so fast.
<laughs> don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Business. Then f you got hell. That's my. F not me. Boo hoo. I have been pumping drugs and shit to kill. I bet your respectable family would help if I went. To I can see the lines. Leave out of this bitch. Come on. Prescott is a who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? To do. I'm sick of people trying to throw me! You are going to get in hell of a this than nobody would ever miss your ass, would they? Get away from me, psycho! Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh. How can that be? Room. Shot, girl. I held up my hand, and then I was here. Pieces of time. I already heard this lecture. From light. Now Kate is being hassled again. Victoria's phone. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example? Man, of I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Victoria, why Arvis? So cool. Did it? Can you give? I, me I did it. Perfectly captured the human, human time machine. Any Bueller? Max? Why are Keep it together, Max. She saw he was tortured, right? Selfie and asked me a question. If he was for real. Selfie. A dumb word for a wonder graphic. No, the answer. I did not dream. You all has been until your generation. Self -action. Girl isn't the point. Save her. That's better. Photography. For need to chair. go to the bathroom quick. Max, since you've. And clearly, can you please tell us the product gave birth to the first self portraits? Um, can we answer? But I have to use the bathroom. Nice try, man. but we can talk to the class. Is there anybody? Jefferson, after class. Need time to save their process the it's a sh there. Now you're stuck in the red bad face. What I'm the right answer. Oh yeah, we're going. Interesting clearly wanna join. Please, the name of the first portrait. The Daguerre Princess. A French blue bear around 1830. Somebody has been as well as work, Max. Process made huge popular. Mainly gave the subject fine. You can learn when you actually finish. 
so far. Guys, don't forget the deadline to submit when the best off San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. Kickstarter career. Melissa, get it. Hide. Two and yes, you to see me. Not crazy. Dreaming. It's time to be here. me, Mr. Jefferson, do you from excuse me? Us. I'd never for the future avoid her picture. I'm not avoiding, just biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Other plans, yeah. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Oh, we're good. I'll be a quick what? Oh, okay. It's like a tutorial kind of thing. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. Okay, anyway. I, really think I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh, shit. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Hell yeah, Victoria, suck it, bitch. Okay. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. The bathroom over here. No, oh, it's over here. Thank you. The bathroom. There we go. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to oh, do. Oh, the fire alarm. It's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. Hella more trouble the hammer. this than drugs. Nobody would ever there it is. even miss your punk ass, would they? Get, take it. Get away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass. There we they? go. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Fucking Nathan kid, dude. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Oh, it's real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? Asshole. For whatever you're up to, your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah.
should go talk to him. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Um, Gotta report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. Oh, so it's ass. hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Hmm, what to do? Nah. Keep his ass reported. Oh, excuse me. It's not not a bad school campus. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Oh shit. Hello, Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. No, fuck the cameras. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being a science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Oh, they're definitely gonna sign it. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. This action will have consequences. Yep, I don't care. We got over here. Uh. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm just gonna get my flash drive. I need some info in space. Hello. Sorry, running lane, same day. Meeting a lot, looking cool. You'll see. Amber will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Oh, we got new pages, shit. 
This does not exist. This will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how or where it started. But it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in the storm. This is kind of like a recap of what happened. Okay. Where's the dorms at? You talk to some peeps? Talk to what up, Hayden? What up, Hayden? Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. <laughs> the haters. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is Fucking hilarious when he's blazed, and he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Hi, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Fuck you, Hayden. Okay, um. Right, let's go talk to Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows <coughs> about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Oh, shit. Answer that again. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. This bitch. I think there's a dorms over there. We got over here. We got some skater dudes. What's up, Justin? Justin? Check out the max. Come to thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a trade flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, Trev? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Telephotogenic. Obviously can't go there. Why not? What the fuck not? 
I think those are the dorms over there. Who we got over here? Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. <laughs> if Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Oh, wow. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Fascinating. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Oh, so too, be right, brah. You dead? <laughs> and Daniel? What's up, <clears throat> Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a... Good substitute news. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. It's going to be good or bad. Oh, Best not bad. This action will have come. Like, for what? I'm thinking these are dorms over here. I wonder who's this dude? Beatty. Clever. Luke looks like Luke looks uh, like a straight-up guy. Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. Yeah. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. All right, so he's a cool guy. This dude. Evan. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. Uber? I'd love to see his photos in there. Talk to this hey, dude. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Um... Robert Kappa? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. 
You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Oh, he's Rachel. Abstract landscapes. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Hmm. Okay. What do we have here? Just some random Joe. Go to the dormitories. Gotta go get that flash drive. Come on, Logan. Bring it, brah. Yeah, brah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. We talked to one of these losers. <laughs> no, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Oh, you motherfucker. Awesome. What's up, Zach? Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, it's Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Kate. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Totally eco-friendly. Who's this dude? Well, let's talk to the security. Samuel. Let's Howdy, see what Samuel. he's up to. Well... Hello there. Oh, this guy's got child child pedophile written all over him. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. Nice, bro. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Nice. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive oh. and negative. See you later, Samuel. That guy needs to be locked up. Step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. That is one creepy motherfucker. See what this girl's up to. Alyssa. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. What do we got here? Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. What a... Oh, this oh, ought to be good. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, yeah. Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Is there a fuck you button on here? Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. 
I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Hmm. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of... I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. <laughs> hmm. Gotta be... something in here. Aha! What the hell? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? Oh, Here? drama queen right? much. I can't even chill on the steps. Sweet. No. Do you understand English? Get lost. None shall pass. Capiche? Do you understand English? Get lost. Uh oh. Um. Hmm. Turn a sprinkler up again. Oh. Nice, bro. Talk to you. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. I need to talk to him. Uh. No. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Uh. Rick. What do I do here? I feel like such an idiot right now. Oh no, stop, 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 stop. The sprinkler, maybe. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Okay. Yeah. You gotta be like, can you pick up like a brick or something? There's something in here that I'm missing. I don't know. Sweet. No. I don't know what to do. Think, Max. Rewind and find something.
Keep Do you understand English? Keep walking, hippie. Keep walking, hippie. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Awesome. I feel like if we get this football. Yo, dude. I must have missed something. I should rewind. Um... Turn the sprint around while the paint cans up. I think I got it now. Yeah. That's got to be it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Use it. I went back too far and I gotta talk to these bitches. Sorry, again. no paparazzi allowed. Let me use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Oh, dude. Do you understand English? Get That's lost. the first and last time I expect to hear that. I must have missed something. I should rewind. Aha, okay. Awesome. Okay, let's see if this works. We go. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Okay. Yeah. Must have tampered with it. Now we gotta turn the sprinklers on. Here we go. Man, that was a pain in the ass. No way. No fucking way. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah, bitches, don't mess with Max. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? One of her comfort. Her comfort. I am sorry. That's an awesome yeah. cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. 
You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Kiss up to her a little bit. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Eh, nah, stick with that. Room 217? No way in hell am I Red ever Red Ram. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. <laughs> Juliet, extreme reporter. Seriously, who cares? Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. It's red. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Blah, 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 blah. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. Shower hmm. is open. No, they don't look it. Pull it. At least that's an alarm from this century. <laughs> okay, this is just mean and stupid. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Vegan club. Is our room? Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Okay, don't really care not reading it. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Let's draw something. Home sweet home. Turn. There's My no one in it. Cocoon. Play some guitar. I always wanted to have a guitar like that. Uh oh, I'm Texas. 
tales about a black honor student is true. People said that it was a serious false charge and that we're just telling stories. Call me ASAP so we talk about this mom. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Go Thunderbirds. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Probably to draft so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need a back, just track me down in my room. Damn it. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Photo album. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Huh. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. It's an idiot. Supposed to be your best. It's supposed to be your boo. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. I gotta go what Dana's room I think you can't get out now Dana so tell me the truth or rotten there welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell so hey Juliet is everything cool oh yes Max I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool you are she's your friend friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend no probably not how did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Mason? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Is oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Mm -hmm. uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. 
and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Ugh. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Uh. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Go back and maybe say something else. Hey, Juliet. Is oh yes, Max. Juliet, I've locked. So Juliet Wath. I'm flattered. Uh, of course I do. You are ridiculous. Thanks. I locked Dana in. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't hmm. do anything. We can't leave yet. Ugh. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Um, something in my room, maybe? Maybe that note? I don't know if maybe that note would have something to do with it. Say. Keep calm and carry on. Oh Lord. Ah, Victoria's room. Hmm. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Blah blah, I don't care. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. How insecure. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Le I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Or an email. Did I grab it? Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. There we go. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. <laughs> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. 
You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Oh my god. This is both sad and pathetic. Should write this. I act like it's tough jack around, but I never. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even <sighs> heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. All right. I'm coming, Warren. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Reckon I can all the cards. The more I text, the longer I take on my way. Bye. I'm gonna go to the main campus, I think. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit. Ow! Damn it. Warner. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. A text from... Aurea. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. You bitch. Can we talk to him, see what his problem is? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. What's this? Idea. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. 
Did rewind, we gotta help her. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, you got your back, that Kate. was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. No problem, Kate. We got you. Man, man, what up, dude? I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. David Dickhead. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Nah, we gotta help out Kate. Uh, where's Warren at? I'm glad I stepped in that time. I don't get Can't it. stand to see people being... Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually Poor Juliet. Does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. I hear you, Batman, yeah. School's starting up tomorrow for you then, my dude. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Okay. Hard what? It just says tired. Oh, retard. <laughs> I'm kind of retarded for not picking up on that. Yo, Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can Holy go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a place <clears throat> full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking. The game's in pretty badass, band, anything. man. Hardcore. Said so I, I, I've, I've seen episode four. Video. Through a uh, Vernotis's stream a couple weeks ago. Cool graphics. But this game oh, is pretty awesome. Suck. Holy know. shit, that car come so with the five inch TV. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Hmm. No, 
I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. <laughs> Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Here we go. Answer me, I told me, him bitch. the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. This kid's though. nuts. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. Usage of last names in this game, OP. For, dude. <laughs> Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! And hey, fuck this kid! Nobody. I want to beat the shit out of that kid. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend what a little rebel. Down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Oh shit. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm done. Not everything changes. 
Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. This is still episode one we're on. Jesus Christ. Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Home shit home. I like this Chloe chick. Oh, no! Fuck. Just spilled the can of pop all over the floor. Good job, dipshit. Do I have like a sock or something? My we'll just use this magazine. Than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Office cam was empty. Put on some music while I medicate. Medicate, fuck yeah, let's do it. A music height chart. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Um. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Rewind. Albert, Texas, what up, man? Not do that. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Let's say. Fuck off my... Fuck off my head. Okay. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Hmm. Interesting. But look at that old school antenna on that thing, man. Here we go. It won't play without any power. Um. We need power. Power strip. You can actually turn those things on and off. I'm not doing too bad, not doing too bad. It just sucks that it's Sunday and I have to work tomorrow. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Um, music, music, music. In the garbage can. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. We need music. Straight up. She likes fuck. Fox pictures. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. Super. She looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Uh, excuse me. Um, talk to her. Damn. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Oh, Batman, no doubt. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be getting a lot of games this holiday season for sure. I don't feel grown up. Just more confused as I get older, especially after today. Gee, thanks. I was hoping to hear something positive. About me? 
No, about me. Duh. I thought you'd at least be happy taking photos. Forget it. Okay. Try it again. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun? I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. That it? It's here, Max. Look a little harder. There we go. Picture Rachel. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I can't wait till that drops. I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But I'm gonna be playing Rachel. that Madden nonstop once back. it comes out. We were gonna Hopefully, it's better than Madden ass. 15. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. <laughs> Feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something oh, shit. To her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you. I already know what's Rachel. up to Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Because <laughs> my dumbass watched episode four a few weeks back before I got this game. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. What are we supposed to do? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. That's her room. Away ourselves. Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. Light switch. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. I hope Chloe isn't taking these pills. Uh, 
idea what that is. Stuff. Arcadia Bay. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. We got in here. Master bedroom. This must be Chloe's oh, parents' room. <laughs> Man, I am nosy today. A bird just took out the damn window. Aw. Get a picture of that? Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Really? Save the bird. You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. Damn butterfly effect shit. Oh. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Uh oh. The prices are late on their bills. $4,300. Holy shit. Look at that photo. At that photo. There we go. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Chloe looks so miserable. Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? Poor Chloe. Poor, poor Chloe. Leave it open. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Dog tags. Sweet. David Matson. Guy was in the army. I guess we just go downstairs now. Mail. I'll notice. Oh, uh, I think the game just froze. Doesn't look like the price oh, no, family is okay. rolling dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. It's from Kate. No problem, that guy is an asshole. Love you, Mom. Get on the old tube. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get... Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Yum, that looks tasty. Welcome I back, man, man. Joyce is cooking. Did you just send me a me message on Xbox? Stain. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. 
That TV, though. God damn. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. You girls are Looks weird. Looks like a ship wrecked now. I guess they're aging these books. I should be uh, able to find the tools I need here. Tools, that's what we need to do. Oh, shit. Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How That's, I, I thought that might have been him. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Well, we need to find some tiny tools. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Tiny tools? And corned beef. Shit! Butterfingers! Okay, we're rewinding that. Definitely not dealing with that shit. Here's that five inch TV. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? For reals. This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Yeah, ain't right. What was that? Need small tools. Nothing. This is so lame. So lame. Trophy. Food. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Uh, this is set in 2013. Turn this off. Give me the creeps for some reason, I don't know why. You gotta find these damn tools. They gotta be in here somewhere. You gotta be missing something. A drawer or something here. These are way too big. But she said, "Oh shit." Chloe's stepdad is a veteran I and a secure. I opened this one too, didn't I? Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. Some tools. Where the hell? Nothing in here, right? I'm, I'm so confuzzled right now. scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Damn. Oh. 
down, go back up. No need to go there now. Okay, so where are these damn tools at, man? For reals. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. Like, I'm missing something in here. Nothing. This is so lame. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. I need to switch this off. Door behind here. Yes, score. Huh? Tools, aha. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Ugh. Push that. Turn on. Pull that out. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Yeah, we should. As fast as we can move. Need a loading screen to go upstairs, like. Oh, my knee. What's up, Clo Clo? You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Mad like skills said, even sound. Yeah, I know, right? Kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. How scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. 
I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Damn right you do. We saved your life. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the so way... So sweet. I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that phony white ass. Or <laughs> take my picture with your new camera. This guy. Even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. shit Bed. one second my bra is stuck I'm not hide 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 i'm not a kid anymore i can't hide under the bed where else i'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door one two three shit what's going on in here why is she here none of your business i don't like strangers here Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. I hate this asshole. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God. I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait. Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah. Guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do Get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you oh, know. Fuck You're not this even guy. a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. We kill this guy? I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Yeah, flip him off. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Epic. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Yeah, story's not that good in Destiny. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Nah, we, you, you just cook Chloe enough. Just her for five years, you owe her that.
this awesome sauce? Totally awesome sauce. We were kids. I'm done. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Your little lighthouse dream? Oh, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Sign, sign, everywhere, sign. Orn. Poor Warren. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. What's up, Clo-Clo? Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had step to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I should have taken his photo when he flipped out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? You know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing he didn't look. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew uh. you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Pop a cap in his Good ass. Oh my god. I already told the principal and I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, 
I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh no! Not again! Blacking out again. This way. Oh. I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Is higher than a fucking airplane. Yeah, no oh shit, right? Lord. The tornado is back. Oh no. Shit, it's creepy. Man, that looks beautiful. Oh yeah, Chloe, yeah, I know. Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. So she's seeing the future. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? He totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zone. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to Hardcore, Max. man. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. Yeah, it you is don't a video have game. Those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get hot. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. 
Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> Guessing that's episode one right there. Dickhead. Chloe's mama. There's Warren. There's our dude right there. I gotta see, figure out what's going on with Kate. She's like in a deep depression. Yeah, I remember this dude from when I watched episode four. You learn more about him as time goes on. Alright guys, that was episode one, Chrysalis, or whatever the hell that damn word is. Um, for those of you who watch this on YouTube, thanks for sticking around watching this. I know this episode took a little while. I was doing a lot of exploring and a lot of reading the journal and everything. But uh, if you stuck around, be sure to hit that like button. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit me up on YouTube. Go ahead and comment on the video. Tell me what your thoughts are about the game so far. Thanks for watching, guys.